Hello traders, Lance Cipolito here, and I want to discuss market eternals, the NYSE trend, and trading the markets to take advantage of looking at market eternals. So the NYSE trend, dollar sign TRIN, or the Richard Arms Index, is one of my favorite things to look at at an intraday and end of day basis. Now, one for the notepad to write, if the trend closes below 0.6, the market has an 80% chance of selling the next day. If the trend closes above 2, there's an 80% chance that the market will rally the next day. So normally, the trend is inverse to the overall S&P 500. So if we have a trend going down, we have the U.S. equity market rising on an intraday basis. A couple things that stood out to me over the past couple days. So this week, it is Wednesday, August 17th. We had Monday and Tuesday down in the market after an incredible run up. This morning, we were down about 10 handles on the S&P futures. Well, what I noticed, and this is a daily time frame of the trend, we closed below 0.6 here on the 11th. That is Thursday. And looking at an intraday basis, uh, Monday, we closed right around 0.6. So what happened Tuesday? We open, market sold off. What happened today with a low trend reading and the open, we sold off. Now, once I saw the trend get above two, this is a five minute candle chart right here. I said to myself, we could see the low of the day on the market. It's normally the trend will not stay above two. So what happened? We see the trend grinding lower. And now finally, the US equity market is making a bid to the upside. So let me show everyone. Here's the S&P 500 via the S&P E-mini futures. We have a high here at 21.90 and three quarters to a low 21.65, so a nice drop off. Uh, but looking at the market today, we sold off hard in the morning, about 10 handles, 10 points, and then recently made a phenomenal rally off the lows, nearly 10 points. So what I did and let me pull this up. I took a point in the morning in the market and then traded the NASDAQ futures. Let me pull this up to show everyone uh, recently. So what I did, and to be 100% transparent, I'll pull up my uh, NinjaTrader right here. Let's pull it up. So what I did when I was looking at the market eternals was I bought I tried to buy three, I only got filled on two NASDAQ futures here at 40, at, pardon me, at 47.74 and a quarter. So right down here. Now what I was looking at was the ticks, and I actually have a tick master indicator that I created uh, that one can always get, uh, feel free to email me if you would like to uh, receive it where I was just following the negative ticks lower in the morning and once I saw the ticks right around this time frame start to diverge actually getting positive territory we had a market run up where I got about uh, actually a little over 15 points in the NASDAQ futures now what this means is when I bought them here at 74 and a quarter I saw repetitive positive 800 highlighted by these green candles, aggressive buying. Normally when we see positive 800 on the ticks or above, the machines, the algos are buying up the market. So that, that's exactly what happened. The market received a bid. All the market eternals were confirming that the market was changing directions. And you can see here, uh, I actually bought them at 74 and a quarter and took targets here at 91. So about right here. And then at 92, 47.92 on the NASDAQ futures, I had my set stop here at four points at 47.70 and a half. Thankfully, my stop never uh, hit it and I got to cancel it. Uh, and I took some targets here in the NASDAQ futures. You know, only a two lot. It is pre-FOMC. Uh, today, it is Wednesday. So I'm not trading large, but there's opportunities intraday to capture capture market moves. You know, you could trade the S&P futures, you could trade the SPY, the NASDAQ, 
the QQQ, whatever instrument you would like, you're still going to receive the same correlation uh, between you know, futures or the ETFs or really an individual stock. So here's the SPY. We see an aggressive uh, selling here where we hit negative 800 on the ticks. We did not hold we did not hold aggressive selling at negative 800. Start seeing positive ticks and then the machines start buying. And what I like to do, I like to take targets or feed the ducks right on these aggressive positive 800, positive 1,000 ticks. Because normally after we have an aggressive tick reading, we'll just slowly uh, sizzle down and kind of trade sideways. And as a trader, you don't want to be in a trade while it's sideways. You want to be in a trade while it's moving. You, know, you want to be on the same side of the trend, and that's what I look to do. So you can make money in this market. Don't let ever, anyone tell you summer volume uh, is low. There's still opportunities. If you look at market eternals, uh, you know, the NYSE tick, we start seeing the ticks here. You know, after holding negative territory, this is zero. We start seeing repetitive negative territory all morning and now we're finally starting to see positive ticks you know bouncing off zero and we actually hit a high tick of 1100 so follow the trend index the NYSE tick and the advanced decline line look at the advanced decline line bounce off negative 1200 and now look at us and at negative 500 we see the advanced decline line confirm the trend higher so the market sitting clean an intraday reversal as an intraday trader, that is something one loves to see. You can use this swing trading, intraday trading, whichever uh, type of trader you are, there's opportunities always, and I mean always, in the market. Don't feel free just because it's summer, there's no opportunities. There is. Uh, be patient, be wise. Lance Zablito here, tradingcoachlance.com, tradingcoachlance.com. Feel free to shoot me an email at lance at tradingcoachlance.com uh, and I'd love to have a conversation with you.